now a request from Mrs. Connie Morris of Dover Hay, Q Ferry Drive, Northwood, Middlesex, for her husband, Flight Sergeant Ozzy Morris, who is serving somewhere in the Middle East. Mrs. Morris said that her husband is a great lover of Sorry, Phoebe, I've forgotten my key. You know, whenever there's a ring at the door, I don't like to answer it in case it's a policeman standing there with another summons. There'll be a policeman at the door, all right? Do hope Archie won't be long. No, I don't think he will. Frank's with him. Oh, Frank's a sensible boy. He'll say he doesn't stay out too late. Archie's a fool to himself. Always got some big idea he's going to make money. A little while ago, it was female impersonators. We were going to make a packet. But by the time Archie got started on it, it had all petered out. Oh, well, it's no good worrying, is it? it? Says on the telly that Mick's coming home. And that's all that really matters. Come on, have a drop of this, dear. No, not for me, thanks, Phoebe. Mm. Getting a bit low on the drink, aren't we? Yeah, look, and you're not to have another one until you've had something to eat. You've had nothing but tea and cigarettes for days. Oh, no, I, I couldn't eat anything. The people have got to eat, dear. If you don't have something... People have got to eat, she says. Ah, oh, that's a good one. Well, you can't carry People on. People have got to eat, she said. Well, where's he got to? He's just gone into the kitchen. Well, that's not all they've got to do. They've got to do a whole lot of things. A whole lot of things you don't even know about. Oh, I know, love. Things have been tough. You're a very sweet girl, Jean, and I'm very fond of you. But you're not even my own daughter. All right, Phoebe, I'm sorry. Let's forget it. Don't presume too much. Oh, Phoebe, please, I just said... Don't presume too Look, much. Let me get you some tea. Why doesn't Archie come back? You'd think he'd come back here and celebrate after hearing his son was safe and on his way home. I don't know, you people. Oh, Phoebe, don't let's have a row and over nothing. It's silly. It's not silly. Anyway, who said we were having a row? All I said was that I wasn't hungry. And you start getting at me. I wasn't getting I at you. I can't even, because I said, you don't know, you don't know what it's like. We've lived on penny pieces of bacon from the butchers and what we've got from the tribunal. You people, you're all alike. Frank, we should have stayed. I told you. Archie, I'm talking to Jean. Yes, dear, I thought that's what she was doing. I sized up the situation in a flash. Oh, it's easy for people like you to make fun. I left school when I was 12 years old. Who writes if she tells me that? Once more, I shall get up on this roof, drunk as I am. I shall get up on this roof and scream, and I've never done that before. You had to pay sixpence a week then. In some weeks, my mother couldn't find it. But this is a welfare state, my old darling. Nobody wants, nobody goes without. All our provided Are you a scrubbing a dining Everybody's room. all right. Young Mick's I all wish right. You both shut up. Frank's all right. Jean's all right. She'll make it up with old Graham and forget all about silly old Trafalgar Square and prime ministers who look like dogs downstairs. They are there. You don't understand. Yeah, I, know. I know. Phoebe scrubbed a dining hall floor for 500 kids when she was 12 years old, didn't you? Didn't you? Oh. Have you any idea either of you how often she told me about about those 500 kids in that dining hall. Oh, shut up. Uh, yeah, okay, son, I'll shut Hey, pass one of those to Jean. She looks as though she could use it. I can't. You've been away too long, darling. Every night's a party night. Uh, and do you know why? Do you know why? Hey, look at that. Look at that poor, pathetic old thing there. She's very drunk. And right now, her mazzy, underdeveloped, untrained mind is racing because her bloodstream is full of alcohol we can't afford to give up. What's he talking about? She's tired and she's getting old. She's tired and she's tired of me. Nobody ever give her very much in this world except me. And my God, she's tired of that. Aren't you, my old darling? You're tired of that, aren't you? I tried to make something of myself. I tried. I really did try. I was nothing much to look at. I was a plain kid. No, I wasn't. I wasn't even plain. I was the ugliest bloody kid you ever saw in your life. But I made something of myself. I made him want me. It was a long time ago. Well, let's have a row, but please, can we have a quiet row? Oh, they know it was a long time ago. I wish you'd stop yelling. I can't hear myself shout. Sing one of your songs. There's a good boy. Where, hey, where's the old man? He's hey. in the kitchen. Billy, come out of there. You know you're only reading, and your auntie Ethel's been on her feet all day. What's she doing messing in there? He knows I don't like him being in there. Leaves everything such a mess. That kid. What? You've been in my cake. You've been in my cake, haven't you? I was hungry. Well, that cake was for me. It was for me. It wasn't for you. I'm sorry. I bought that cake for me. It's for when he comes home. Why couldn't you leave it alone? I'm just Couldn't fancy. you leave it alone? It wasn't for you. What's the matter with you? I see 
do, don't I? Don't think you give me all that much money every week because you don't. Please be forget it. I don't forget anything. We'll buy another one. Oh, yes. you'll buy another one. You're so rich. You're such a great big success. What's little cake? Well, Lord, it does not. Well, I bought that cake. And it cost me 30 shillings. It was for me for when he comes home. Because I wanted to give him something. Something that I know he'll like after being where he's been and going through what he has. And now that bloody greedy old pig. That old pig. As if he hasn't had enough of everything already. He's got his great things in his... Well, I suppose so. He's had more out of life than any of us, and he's enjoyed it. Good luck to him. Or Seb, you needn't have done that. Oh, I'm so sorry, Archie. Please try and forgive me. Come on, lad, pull yourself together. That's what we should have done years ago. Pulled ourselves together. Now let's uh, pull ourselves together. Together, together. together. Let's pull together. ourselves together. When the happy you will be. That's right, Jess. Remember, we're British. Ah, hail! Don't look so worried, Jean. You won't have to put up with this kind of thing much longer. Phoebe, let's see you do your dance. Hey, Jean, play something. Yes, Go on. on. She dances jolly well, don't you, poor old thing? I wonder if she'll make me cry tonight. We'll see, we'll see. Hey, Frank, sing us one of your songs. There's a good boy. When there isn't a girl about you, feel so lonely. When there isn't a girl about you, on your own. Wait a minute, I'm just try trying to... Um, uh, um, the girl I love is up in the lavatory. No, she's not. Not like that. Oh, it's rude. Hey, you see it. Hey, yes, come on. No, come no, on. Come on. No, come on. No, really. All right, then. The boy I love, he's up in the gallery. 